Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more of the latest breaking news and current events. Breaking. Major news reports Canadian truckers go on strike to protest COVID mandates. Cross-country truckers convoy departs BC for Ottawa to protest vaccine mandate. The first leg of the convoy, dubbed the Convoy for Freedom 2022, is set to leave BC on Sunday. Trucks head into Canada from the U.S. at the Highgate Springs Street Armand, Phillipsburg border crossing in St. Armand, Quebec, Canada, on Friday, January 14, 2021. A group of Canadian truckers are organizing a convoy to drive to Ottawa, from as far as BC, to protest the federal vaccine mandate. A group of truckers is planning to drive across the country to protest a federal vaccine mandate in Canada's capital. The first leg of the convoy, dubbed the Convoy for Freedom 2022, is set to leave BC on Sunday. Convoy organizers plan to arrive in Ottawa on January 29, where truckers from other provinces will join. I know a lot of drivers who are impacted by this. It has basically removed them from the workforce, BC truck driver Colin Valentim told the Vancouver Sun. Valentim will lead the BC leg of the convoy taking the western route and expects to be accompanied by others along the way. Two other convoys have different starting points. The eastern route is to begin on January 27 in Enfield, Nova Scotia. The southern route will leave on the same day from Windsor, Ont. A GoFundMe page for the cause has raised more than $560,000 to help with food, lodgings and fuel for the truckers. However GoFundMe has put a freeze on those funds. We are taking our fight to the doorsteps of our federal government and demanding that they cease all mandates against its people, wrote GoFundMe organizer Tamara Litch. Small businesses are being destroyed, homes are being destroyed, and people are being mistreated and denied fundamental necessities to survive. The decision for Canadian truckers to meet in Ottawa to protest the vaccine mandate comes as the industry struggles with issues, such as disruptions to the supply chain and a shortage of drivers. The federal vaccine mandate could result in a loss of 12,000 to 16,000 cross-border commercial drivers, according to the Canadian Trucking Alliance. The mandate came into effect on January 15, which means Canadian truckers must show proof of vaccination to avoid taking COVID-19 tests before reaching the border. They will also have to quarantine when they return from the United States. American truckers who are unvaccinated will not be allowed to enter. On Wednesday, a group of truck drivers protested the mandate at the U.S.-Manitoba international border, blocking the highway and slowing traffic. Valentim said the convoy to Ottawa won't be trying to block traffic, and that his goal is to be loud. Securing the supply chain or breaking it. The clash over trucker vaccine mandates continues to grow.